over there. Right, okay. Did you want to open the pack, Steve? Right, so this is you? Yeah, isn't it? Okay. And you've been speaking to this 14 year old child. Yes? Yeah. Okay. She said. I'm 14 years and I took the Okay, so she said that. So I'm, I'm recording for your safety and for mine. Yeah, to make sure that I don't hurt you and you don't hurt me, okay? Okay. Okay, right. Uh, now, so what made you approach this child? What? What made you approach this child? For, for sure. Yeah, you've, you've got to travel all the way down today from Birmingham to London. Uh, yeah, yesterday she said I'm going to come to me to walk up. When I speak with she today, she, she said I'm 14 years and we can meet. But she said she was 14 years old all the way through the chat log, sir. No, I guess she said. No, she 100% said, Steve, can you get that log out a second? So did it say there that what she was full? What can you do? Yeah. Uh, well, you've got a child to come all the way down from Birmingham today. Yeah, you've, you've left her at Euston train station. Yeah, you've stranded her. No, I... I, I no, you I, have. No, you, 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 are, you asked for her. She said, I'm 14 years and I could have blocked her. I didn't speak with she never. You, you blocked her? Yeah. You was talking to yeah. her all the way along. Yeah, right, you knew her age, yeah, and the second it got real, you blocked her. You left a child at the station. No. You should be ashamed of yourself. No, Don't sit there and say no, because I, I was there. I didn't have to me. Okay, and I spoke to you. Yeah, you should be ashamed of yourself. You've left a kid at a train station 120 miles from home. But you have, I've got, I've got the chat log to show you. You arranged for her to come down today. I don't know to let the train station. Pardon? Spoke to her when she was at the train station. You spoke to her. Yeah, I speak. I spoke to, to she, but she said. That you spoke to the taxi yeah. driver as well. That was supposed to be bringing her down here. Yeah, I know. She said, she said I'm a taxi driver. And the taxi driver rang the police. Yeah, he said the, the girl, she, he's, she's waiting for you. Yeah, and, and when, you stranded her. I spoke her. For, with, with the girl, she said, how old are you? She said, I'm 14 years, so you can, you can make me 14 She years. also told you she was sitting there crying because people was looking at her and she was scared. I and you done if, nothing if, about if, that. If, 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 if she crying or not. Just she said I'm 14 years. She told you. Block. She told you she was scared and people was looking at her, and you left her stranded at Euston <laughs> Station. She's scared, but uh, she crying, but not for me. Mate, I tell you, you know I don't like online predators to start off with, but ones that actually get children to come all the way down, yeah, and you strand her in the middle of London, mate. You're a proper scum. You really are. You're a wrong one. You're an absolute wrong one. 
No, I mean, I'm no wrong in I, Well, I'm telling you you're wrong then. I'm telling years, you you're wrong Never to meet a girl 14 years, me. I'm not pedophile. So or, you or are stupid. So you are 14? Yeah. They were your words? Yeah. Yes. So you know how old she is? Yeah. And you still left her stranded? No, never to left me in the... In, in the Yes, you did. You spoke to her. She told you she was at Euston Station. If you I, left her stranded and then you she, blocked her. I, want, I, I go in London to meet to meet she, but never to meet 14 years, me never. Really? Never to meet girl. But you knew years. she was there, waiting for you. And then she you... was waiting for me? Like yes, you know she was. This video, yeah? You send that to a child. Why would you do that? Would you like me to press play? Why would you send this? To a child. This is you. There's a penny dropped. Yeah. Your phone number, your profile, sent this video to a 14 year old. No. Yes. This you have. Dirty no, wrong. Have the same phone I'm number back. that you spoke to her on earlier today. That you've just admitted to speaking to her on. Awkward. Not good, my friend. It's a bit of an awkward it's moment. Not my idea. It is no, yours. No. From your phone number. No. Mm. Yeah, I'm You're not even man enough to admit what you've done. You can't even see that you've left her stranded and put that child in danger. That's a safeguarding issue for a 14 year old child. And you're not man enough to admit that. No? The 14 years never to make to make me someone. 14 years. Never. <laughs> You've known she's 14 all along. She's 14, but it's not for me. So why did you arrange to meet I, her at Euston Station and then leave she, her then? If I if I meet her, I have to go in London to meet her. Well, why did you why did you arrange to meet her at Euston Station and leave her then? If, it's, if uh, she cry, but not for me. She told you all along she was 14. You know you left a child abandoned at Euston Station. Don't shake your head. You know you did. Because it was the phone, same phone number that that video has come from. The same phone number that the taxi driver spoke to you on. The same phone number that you've just admitted talking to the child on, yeah, saying she was I at Euston to, waiting I for you. Taxi driver, and you spoke to the child. Just I see him speak to she to, call back, to go back is not for me. Is that right? Yeah. So you expected her to go all the way home? Is that what you expected her to do? No, you didn't. Why not? Did you take me from the way out? That's not what happened. You told the child to get the taxi to wake him. Yeah, but then he cut her off, didn't he? Yeah. And left her stranded. So you would have expected her to catch a train all the way back after coming down to see you today. After you asked for her to come down and see you today. I will pick you up at Euston, you said. She got to Euston, you wasn't there. Do you have an attraction to little girls? Do you have a what? Do you have an attraction to young children, little girls? The young girls never to me, never to me, to me. I'm not pedophile. What? No. I think you are. No, it's not for me. I think you are, sir. Who? You. You can look at me as dirty as you want. You can give me a dirty look, but I actually no. think you are. You're speaking wrong. Yeah. Right? I'm not speaking wrongly at all. You're speaking wrongly. No. Yeah. You're speaking wrong to a 14 year old, aren't you? Yes, you are. Fred the chats. No. Yes, it's not are. it's not me that's been talking to a child. It's not me that's asked to meet a child in Houston. It's not me that stranded a child. It's not me that asked a child to get in a taxi and come down to Woking, is it? Yeah? And then it's not me that cut that child off and blocked her. It's a long chain of unfortunate events, sir, isn't it? That makes you look very, very wrong. <coughs> And then you tell me that you, you, this, you, you're, you're not a, what did you say you're not? You're not a paedophile, did you say? Yeah, I'm not a paedophile. You're not a paedophile? No. So, what, what is a paedophile? What is? What is a paedophile? 
Okay, so for me, is if he if he made someone girls the young one, is a pedophile for me. What that that makes young children? Didn't you arrange to meet a young child then? Sorry? You arranged to meet a young child then. Is that not the same thing you're describing as a paedophile? So the fear for, for me if, it's, if you make yeah, yeah. if you make Okay, someone... so you think it's different then from talking to someone to actually meeting someone? Is that what you're saying? Yeah. It's you just... think it's different, okay. Yeah. So we'll stop there. So how do you feel that's different if you're sending indecent images? And videos, yeah. It's clean to say we've got it, yeah. How can you, how can you think that's any different? You're you're still doing the same thing, even though you're writing it and you're sending those images. It's the same thing. Just because you haven't met with that child, you still committed a horrific crime. And I know you're probably scared at the moment, and I really hear you. But at the end of the day, you've got a 14-year-old girl to travel down okay. to meet you. It doesn't matter if you turned up or you didn't turn up. You've initiated that meet. They've come down. That child was there waiting for you. That is a crime. Do you understand? Okay. Nicholas. So how did you get into this situation? Yeah. You're saying you're not a pedophile, okay? I can't call you that because you're not charged, but you will be charged. No, no, no. Yeah? You will be charged, and that's what you'll be known as. What you've done is a serious, serious crime. You may think it's just texting and having a bit of fun and, excuse the expression, getting off of your jollies by sending the video what you've done. But it's serious. That is just as bad as meeting a child. That is just as bad as damaging a child. Just because you haven't stood in front of her like me and you, you're standing here now. It's no different. It's no different at all. This is what you've got to understand. You know, this is serious. You know, 14 year old child. 14? How old are you? You're not 22. No. I'm not 24. You're 34. So, I mean, why would you even be talking? And having that conversation with a child. What would you have in common? Talking to a 14 year old child. Do you get me? Do you have children yourself? Children? Yeah, do you have children? But do you understand where I'm coming from? Do you understand the seriousness of this? Doesn't matter that you didn't meet her. At the end of the day, you've initiated that. You've had your sexual communication online with a child which is an offence in itself you've initiated a meet the child has actually come you haven't told the child not to come until she's there and even then you didn't say that you told her to get into a taxi into Wokeland do you understand? so you've serious. abandoned the child then? There's, this is the seriousness of it what you've done we let that absorb for a minute. I know it's a little bit full on, you're not expecting this. At the end of the day, you've left a child, a 14 year old, by herself. You've initiated that. You have brought that child into that area. Where the bloody hell was she going to get in the cab and go to Woking? Then what happens? Where is she supposed to go in Woking? Can you imagine how frightened she was today? The child. Can you imagine how frightened she was? Do you understand the seriousness? Why did you stop? Why did you block her? That's what I want to know more than anything. You've had a conversation, why did you block her? Did that come to a realisation that this is real? Was that your realisation when you spoke to her on the phone that this is real? I mean, I can go through the chats all day long. I just want to find out why people are doing this. You're ashamed. What are you thinking? Ashamed? should not be under any circumstances talking to children online at all, full stop. As soon as you know their age, you should block them, you should even entertain. 
My next question is, are you talking to any others? Are you talking to any other children? It's going to come out. They're going to download your phone. No, no never. No, never. Now or what What makes her so special? No, 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 no. Okay. So what makes her so special? Serious question. Why her? You've never spoke to anyone before. You've added her. You're having a conversation. Conversation you turn <laughs> sexual. You know, how has that come to happen? You've never spoke to any other child before, but her, why her? So there's no physical harm's going to come to you, whatever you say. You know? I just want to know why. Two phones. You know, I just want to know why. Why, why have you got yourself in this situation? Would it be easier if I walk away and you talk to the boys? Would that be easier? Would that be easier for you? Sorry? Not easy, right? I hear you. But at the end of the day, you've done this. You've had your eyes wide open. You could have stopped at any time. But you didn't. You've taken that next step. 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 The oh, moment yeah. you started talking sexual was a crime. 34. 34. So you even lied to the child. Oh, I said this. 22. I told you he was older. Yeah. You said you was 22 years of age to that child. 22. So why would you lie? It's not looking good, is it? This is why I'm finding it very hard to believe that, you know, you haven't been speaking to any other children. To be fair, I can't say that I believe you because you're too confident. Let's put it that way. Have you ever been arrested for anything like this before? Which one? Have you ever been arrested for anything like this before? No. This is the first time, yeah? No. Okay. Well, hopefully this will be your first and your last. I said, hopefully this will be your first and last time that you commit this crime. Hopefully. Do you realise the damage this does to children? Do you realise the damage? I think, yeah, I think probably I'm, I'm probably a bit timid, so I'll leave you with the boys. <laughs> Thank you. But, so yeah. we go back to why did you find this child so special, which you didn't answer my colleague's question. You said you're speaking to no others, but why did you find the need to speak in a sexual manner to this child? What was so special about her? Thank you. You don't know? You must know, because you're the one that's done the chatting. So why did you find her so special? Why did you, why did you pick this one out of all of them online? Did to decide to just talk in a sexual manner to her? No, the first time she she took the first time. No, she didn't. No, she did not. You need to make the first contact. <laughs> you can show that if you want to. We got the evidence there. You made the first contact. You arranged the child meet. That was you making first contact. You to her. So you contacted her first. This is first time? Yes, that's you. Everything that has progressed up to this sequence of events now has all been logged. So there is you making the first contact Three times. to this child. So the best thing Ooh. to do really is to be honest. We're not we're not gonna harm you. We just want some honesty and some closure. So you made the first contact to the girl. It says there, doesn't it? What does that say? That there. Yeah, so you contacted Joe, yeah? So what that's, was so that's, special that's really about good. her? I'm glad you've been honest now. So let's keep the honesty, yeah? You keep being honest now, yeah? So what was so special about this one? 
I'm not quite as soft as these guys. What was so special about this one? Ignoring me won't make me go away. What was so special about this child? Buddy, do you, do you realise what's going on? Are you working out what's happening today? You know what's happening, yeah? What, what do you have to say for yourself? Talk. It's your chance to explain what you've done. Do you understand? Yeah. You understand what's going on? Yeah. Speak up so we can hear you then. I can't hear what you're saying. My colleague's asking you, why did you pick this child? Why? Why? I know it's very bad. You know it's bad? Did you like the look of her? What? Do you understand what's going to happen today? I don't know. Okay. Why have you got three phones? Yeah, is it, did they all work for company? They're all company phones, are they? Well, the police will be having them, they'll download them. Anything that you've deleted will be retrieved back. And I'm sure that will come back with a lot more children on it than just the one. What, what's going to happen is the police have been called. They're going to attend today the property. They're going to look at the evidence we've got and they're probably going to arrest you. At which point they'll take your mobile devices and they'll forensically download them to see who else you've been talking to. How many other children? under the age of 16 are you talking to? Bearing in mind, the police are going to find out anyway. How many children are you talking to, pal? Who? How many children are you talking to on the phone? It's not just one. How many? Who, how many? What do you mean? You, how many are you talking to? No, no, I didn't speak with children. How many? No. Well, just this one? I don't think so, no. You don't think so? They'll be downloaded in the room too. If you don't think so, I, I made sure, but I'm not, I'm, I'm, I'm not, like... Cut. So you say you're not sexually attracted to children. Why did you feel the need to send that video to that child? Fucking okay, asshole, man. Because I, 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 I didn't believe she. You didn't believe she was a child, but she told you. And she told you she had school. Yeah. And you answered. You referenced no, you it. You. you asked her if she had school tomorrow. You said, "Are you going to school tomorrow?" She said, "Yes." Yes, that's correct. So you made reference to school. So you know that you knew she was a child all along. Yeah. I was sleeping and I didn't see exactly what she said. Really? Well, no, but that, you did. That, that might be fine, but no. what you also did was, when you tried to call her, you tried <coughs> to ring her five times, ten times, she replied saying, my mum's in the room, my mum's there, I'm not allowed to, I'm only 14. She kept expressing her age to you, and you kept saying, doesn't matter, here's a video of me with my dick out. It's not good, man. It's a, it's a big problem for you, yeah, do you understand? Yeah, I understand. Liven up. Have you got any sisters or nieces? You got any young girl members of your family? How old's your sister? 22. 22. Okay, take it back a little bit. Take it back a little bit to when she was 13, 14. If you picked up her mobile phone as, your, as her older brother, she was 13, you was 23? You picked that up and saw that sort of video being sent to her. What would be going through your head? You saw the same video on your sister's phone when she was 13. What would be going through your head? Now be honest. See how much of a man you really are. What would be going through your head? Let's make it more simple. What would you want to do to that person who sent that video? What would you do? Because I, I know, know what, what I'd do. do. You don't know what you'd do? If a man, a grown man, sent that video to your sister when she was 13, you don't know what you would do? Are you serious? You don't know what you would do?
Or is it you don't want to answer that because it reflects on you? I don't know what can I do with him because I'm very hungry and I don't know what can I do. You're very hungry and you think you, that gives you a reason not to answer that question? You're hungry? If he spoke someone, someone... He means, he means, uh, he would be, yeah, I un, un, yeah, understand friend. what you're saying, yeah. It means you'd be very angry with him. You'd be very angry? Yeah. Not hungry. You'd be angry if that happened to your sister, but it's okay for you to do it to another child? Okay. So why have you done it? If you've known all along she's a child, which we've established, you've known all along it's not okay, so why have you done it? And why have you abandoned a child 120 miles away from her hometown in a very busy London station and you've just blocked her after telling her to get in the cab whilst you spoke to the cab driver and come to Woking. Why do we feel that's okay? Why do we feel that's okay? Why do we feel that's okay? Ignoring me won't make me go away. I want to know why you felt it was okay to abandon a child 120 miles away from her hometown. What is it? Did it come real then when you spoke to her? Did it worry you then? It didn't worry you? It didn't worry you that it left a child abandoned at a, a train station? That didn't worry you? It's a major safeguarding issue. And that didn't worry you? So you got your little sexual gratifications and that was it dumped to the curb at Euston station left on her own find her own way home again or get in a cab with a complete stranger and try and find her way round Woking which someone in Birmingham wouldn't know Woking at all would they let's face it it's not a big city it's probably somewhere she's never been before and that's okay you find that okay so your sister at 13 went down to Euston to meet a man Abandoned her there. I know what I'd want to do to that man if it was my daughter. You've left her in a very strange place, a very dangerous place. Houston Station is very dangerous. The amount of drug takers that are outside there. Yeah, but besides that, <laughs> asking a girl to travel that amount of miles to come and see you to leave her anywhere is dangerous. Imagine the, the fear that's going through her head because you don't turn up. And then you expect her to get into a cab and travel to see you. Talking to children online is absolutely unacceptable. No adult should be talking to children unless it's a nephew yeah, or their sister or their brother. So you know all this, so you're quite an intelligent guy. Yeah. Apart from the smirky face you keep giving, which is really grinding, to be quite honest with you. You're quite an intelligent guy. You knew she was 14 all along. You made first contact. You knew it was wrong to abandon her. You knew it was wrong to send the videos you've sent. What was the uh, age of consent in, in the UK? What age are you allowed legally to have sex in the UK? I think he's just saying we're short of a picnic. I think how he old, likes ignoring me. How old do you me? have to be to have sex in England? How old does someone have to be to have sex? Uh, normally, is it 20? Okay, what? 20. Well, it's actually 16. Now, how old? This is a bit difficult, this question. You might not know it. I'll give you the answer. How old do you have to be to send or receive indecent images or videos? Well, that's 18. How old is this child? Remind me. Sorry, I didn't hear you. Remind me how old she is. Fourteen. It sort of hit home, innit, really? 
So that's another offence you've done there. It's not right, it's downright disgusting that people like you prey on our children. And for as long as I breathe, we will come out here and we will stop you lot. The massive implications it have on these children growing up. Any idea what they are? The implications they have is they grow up and some wonderful, beautiful survivors out there that have been put in this position by people like you when they were just wee children end up not being able to have relationships, not being able to have any trust for someone, severe mental health, drugs, drink, suicide because of your actions for you to get your jollies off, your own self sex. Uh, sexual gratification and then dumped to the curb like you did today <laughs> you are the lowest of the lowest in my book and that's where you should be thinking you are as well at the moment you've abandoned a child what are you going to say to the police when, when you get in the police station what are you going to say to them Guilty, not guilty? What are we going to say? To the police? Yeah. What are you going to say to them? How are you going to explain your actions? Say exactly what... what Tell the truth? Yeah. Okay. Fair enough. There's no point really doing anything different. There's 100% watertight evidence there. I mean, you tried the old story as you didn't contact her first and it was proved straight away, wasn't it, that you did? I've just got a funny feeling that there's more than this one child on you. I mean, most people have one phone. They might have two if they've got a work phone, but you've got three. It's going to be a bit like Pandora's box when they're downloaded, isn't it? Lots are going to come out. And do you know what? You're better off admitting whether they're going to come out now because we're going to find out. You're very quiet, but you wasn't very quiet with this child. You were quite talkative with that child, weren't you? But you don't want to speak to us. It's because there's grown-ass adults standing in front of him. If I was 14 or if I spoke like this... Would you get a better response? Oh, you looked up when I spoke like that. As soon as I raised my voice like a child, you looked up. You haven't really made eye contact with me all morning. Now you look up. We know you understand what we're it's saying. It's a pizza guy. Pizza Italian. Which could <laughs> be code for a 12 year old, couldn't it? Because you're wrong. <clears throat> Don't worry. <laughs> pizza man's ringing yeah, off yeah. one of your many phones. Yeah. Is that a pizza guy or is that, is that another child? Is he on in it? Did he know you was going to meet a child today? Pizza delivery man. It's going to go if you, you can open the phone. No, no, we won't open your phone. You don't tamper with evidence. Can you take the smug look off your face because it really is grating me. It's not funny. It's a very serious quite situation. Serious. You're in quite a lot of trouble. You might think it's all funny, but when you're in the back of that police car, we'll be going home laughing. You'll be going to an itchy blanket and a, and a hard plastic mattress. And if you do decide to go to court and go not guilty, look at our faces because each and every one of us will be standing there. You're from Albania, yeah? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What do they think of people that talk to children? sexually in Albania. Is it bad? It's very bad. So why are you doing it here, mate? If you, if you don't know... Do you want me to drop this? Right? Oh! It's like taxi's gone straight past, but that yeah. one's so Is no, there anything right. you want to say to the child that you abandoned at the station? You haven't even asked if she's all right. You know we got a call to come down here and pick you up, but you haven't asked how that child is. No apology is left. 
we know you understand very She's well. She's actually being safeguarded as we speak. But you, you didn't, you haven't even asked. You haven't given monkeys, do you, mate? As long as you can get your little rocks off and send your little videos, of your little mushroom, you're, you're fine. You need to think, start thinking in the world about what's in your head and not what's down there. You're using the wrong head to do your thinking, mate. So if it's bad in Albania, why do it in England? Why is it any different? So why, what, why do you do it? If you're speaking in Albania with someone girls, and if you don't know how old is it... Okay. The problem you've got is you've asked her age, and she's told you her age, five ten times and you've made reference to her age so she's she's told you many times she's 14 you've said to her you're 14 you're 14 so you know exactly how old she is so the question still stands why would you do that in england what gives you the right to do that over here maybe you can speak with in albania with, with someone girls have you done this in albania then to make like like uh, the made she example like Like for long? Yeah. Never? Yeah. Okay, you can speak with someone. Yeah, but the problem you've got is your chat... My sister is speaking with uh, 14 years and to speak with someone 20 years. Yeah. It's not bad. Okay, the problem you've got is in England it is but bad. But if you have something with she, yeah. it's very bad. Exactly, yeah, but and that's what you've done. But what you've done is, you've sent videos of yourself masturbating, yeah? With your penis out and you've arranged for that child for, to come and meet you to the, come to your home for the, that one for that, that yeah that no, video. No, no, no yeah the video but the girl says to you in the chats what are we going to do and you said you can come to my house why would you want to take a 14 year old child for, for to your video, house i don't know because some some time my, my Facebook here opened my cousin in, in Albania and I don't know for the one. Oh, so you, you're trying to oh, say that he's yeah. been hacked? Oh. Someone else. Listen, he's been hacked, guys. You, you, go. wouldn't, you wouldn't choose that video to send to someone, man. You'd pick something <laughs> more impressive. <laughs> yeah? Hacked. Hacked. Right. Let's, uh, let's see if you're hacked, shall we? <laughs> Hang on. The word. Oh dear. Oh, phone number three. That's your phone number. Ooh, this is the nice one. Oh, no, it's the second one. Ooh. That's the one that you was talking to the child on. Okay. I just explained James right, rang his uh, phone, phone and it's ringing. You was talking to the fourteen-year-old child on. You was talking to her on that phone. Oh. Oh dear. Penny's dropped. Let me just ring it again for the parents' sake. Penny's just dropped. We come here fully prepared. We have all the evidence, so we know already. <laughs> there you go. Ringing again. Yeah? Yeah, it's ringing. Certainly not hacked, was it? Why don't you start telling the truth now? Not only are you an online predator, you're a sneedy little snake as well that lies. Yeah? Seriously, start telling the truth, sir. Start telling the truth. Don't look at me like that, yeah? Because you're absolutely disgusting what you've done and you're actually now trying to lie to get out of it. Yeah? That is you that spoke to that child. Why? Why did you speak to that child like that? That's all we've asked. Yeah, we know it's you. Don't make lies. That's it, hold your head down in shame. What I can't understand is you're very good at chatting to children, but you're not very good at answering an adult's question. One question, why did you do it? Why did you speak to that child in the manner you did? Hello? Why did you speak to the child in the manner you did? Why? 
Be accountable for your actions. Grow a pair. Why did you speak to the child in the manner you did? You think ignoring it's going to get away from it? You might as well practice your answers because the police are going to ask you the same ones. No, it still doesn't want to answer why. So how should I address you by? What's your name? Ismail. Ismail. Right, okay, Ismail. We've distinguished that you was talking to the child. We've distinguished that you know that she was 14 years of age and we've now distinguished that it's definitely you through the phone number. Okay, so a long line of, event, of events there that I've, I've just done has proved that you've been speaking to this child. So your, your account hasn't been hacked. Okay, that's definitely you because I spoke to you earlier on the phone. It was me you spoke to. Uber driver. <laughs> I'm from Cobra Taxi, Taxi Services, okay? <laughs> so you spoke to me, <coughs> all right? So we now know this whole thing has been linked, yeah? You sat there and said that you was in Woking, yeah? We were in Woking, okay? You were standing outside where we expected you to be, okay? So you can't really deny it. The only thing that you can deny is whether you've got a sexual attraction to children or not. You know, why, why would you do this to this child? Explain to me. Fun? Excitement? What? But your arsehole's just hit the ground, doesn't it? You've actually realised now. Why? Why would you do this to a 14 year old girl? Why would you make someone travel all that distance? Then she had to send you live locations where she was going as well. So you knew where she was. So you knew 100% that she was in Houston and you still left a 14 year old child in Houston. Oh dear. Taxi's arrived guys. Oh, different type of taxi. It's not a Cobra taxi. Sussex police taxi. Just wanna join us in the car please mate. Do you want to finish it off? Oi, come back. Do you want to finish it off? Where have I got you? You can do it. Oh, there's only 11 people in here, I'll do it. <laughs> right, guys. <laughs> right, we found him. We've got him. As you can see, he's very arrogant. Got a smug look on his face. Doesn't give a monkeys. But with a bit of running around today, he's uh, in the back of the police car. Okay, take care. Uh, it's a lead team, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, thanks, elite team, for letting us do this one. Thoroughly enjoyed myself. Take care. Bye bye. <laughs> I don't know how to finish this. Excellent.